righties, ladies and gentlemen, just to prove that I'm not full of shit, that is 2 Bill from 3,817 keys. I have killed a lot of people in the wilderness. Most of them bots, and they're super easy to kill. Like, Vorkath, easy to kill. If you can kill Vorkath, you can kill these bots. Just, and I'll show you how my, what my setup is and, and all of it. Like, I'm wearing the cheap version of my setup right now. I usually you have an imbued god cape and uh, just uh, barrows gloves and stuff because it's just a little better. But yeah, if you look at the risk, oh, yeah. Go ahead and see PK skill active and we protect item. The only expensive thing I really have on me is my cursed scepter. So I'm risking about 500 to 600k because of the ether in the weapon itself. I will, I will lose that if I die. But that's not a bad price to learn how to kill bots. Not a bad price at all. And then um, another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have you want to have your F keys set up. So like my, for my F1 is my inventory, F2 is um, prayers, F3 is magic spellbook, F4 is my, my spec bar, and then F5 is my equipment itself. So I can go through all of these really, really quickly, really fast. And then you can add, download another plugin called uh, Key Remapping, where you can have your F keys assigned through, to your 1 through 5. So if you like playing like World of Warcraft, where you use your 1 through 5 and your WASD, like I can use WASD to move my camera around. It's good stuff, and uh, that's that's pretty much the setup I use, right? So yeah, this is this, this is what my inventory looks like. I like to have my seed pod, royal seed pod in the top left. I got my super combat, ranging, and stamina with my four-way switch to range right here. See, switching isn't hard. Just do a little four-way click up and down, snake it a little bit, and that's all you gotta do. And look, I even messed up a little bit there. Not a big deal. You don't need to be fucking perfect at this, not at all. And then I got a blighted anglerfish, blighted carambwans. Oh, and I don't need this ring of dueling. <clears throat> ah, whatever, it'll be fine. It's, it's the, pretend this ring of dueling is a blighted carambwan, right? Right. Put the range stuff back. Got house tabs to teleport to my house, and then into blighted entangle sacks and blighted teleport sacks. Super easy stuff. And then if we go to these are the prayers I have. I got, Rigor and augury are pretty pretty fucking amazing. If you're if you have 70 defense and higher, uh, you probably should get those. This is the spells I use. I use mainly I use uh, entangles and blighted teleport sacks to you know do the, get the job. It allows me to entangle and t and tele block people, so that's always great. And let's see if you look here, this is entangle right here, level 79 spell, and then tele block is right here, level 85 spell. With these two spells, you can you can kill people sub thirty wilderness pretty reliably, pretty reliably. And then, yep, spec four level four. So if I go to my if I go to my dragon dagger, so I click one, and I quit my dragon dagger, and I go four, and I click the spec, and then I click on them, and then bam, I'm specking them out. And usually what I'll so what what I'll really do is the sequence is turn on so like let's say I have all my prayers on right, they're all on. So I'm in my mage, they're praying against mage, and I see mage right. <clears throat> So I, pr I go to hit my two button, click piety, go to one, click DDS, go to four, click spec attack, and then I click on them. And I can probably still hit them off prayer, pretty easily, pretty easy stuff. So that's that's how we use prayers here. And these are the quick prayers I have on. I always have on when I'm going to PK spindle. I always have protect item, preserve, pray range, and augury. That's what I always have on whenever I enter that damn cave. And then we already talked about the spells. This is by entangle sacks and teleport sacks. I don't use any of the rest of this really, because I use the uh, built-in spell. And then we'll go. Over, then this is the spec bar. I always use long range. Always, 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 forever, for everything, for for, for raiding, for, for for slayer, for PKing, everything. Long range, all hail long range. All right, let's go. And then five. Then we'll go over the equipment real quick. I, you only need the. I'm wearing swamp bark, so if you have the head, uh, chest, and legs, your entangles will last three seconds longer, about, and that's 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 great. That's like having a barrage sub thirty. So you can you can it allows you to really nail them down, and it's super cheap gear. This stuff is cheap as hell. I have sets of this. Uh, Zamar God Cape, free cape. You can upgrade to imbued God Cape if you want to increase your risk by 200 200k. I personally do this, but you don't have to. So we're, I'm just gonna use a super cheap shut up, so it's not a big deal. Glory, glory is great. Great uh, tribrid item. Dragonstone bolt E. These things are ridiculous. They allow you to punch through range, a range prayer. You can hit twenty sevens against prey range. It's ridiculous. The curse scepter. This is what will make PK easy for you. You need this thing. It it's incredible. 
it it uh, it's a charged item. So the the main thing that's hard about PKing is using your spell book, like spamming your 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 spells on somebody constantly is a uh, is gonna give you carpal tunnel, and it's the most complicated part of PKing. It's definitely spamming spells from the spell book. Like you have to constantly spam fire surge because whenever you switch weapons in P in PVP, you do not get the spell saved. Like it will not save in this menu. You will not have your spell saved when you swap weapons. Like let's say if you were casting ice barrage with your ancient staff and you went to your dragon dagger and then you went back to your uh, your your ice barraging weapon, your ancient staff, the, it would not remember the ice barrage. It's only like that in, P in uh, PVP. It's not like that in PVM. Super annoying. And because of that, I use the Acura Scepter. Uh, it, it allows you to not have to worry about that. You can put out a damaging mage spell without having to constantly give yourself carpal tunnel from the spell book. It's great. It's great. It makes it work like a cross. It's like just like equ equipping your crossbow. You can just click, equip it and click on them. You don't have to fucking click on it, then click on your spell book, and then click on them. It's two clicks versus three clicks. So I like to have everything be two click. I like to be able to equip my melee weapon and then click on them. I like to be able to equip my ranged weapon and click on them. And I like to be able to do the same damn thing with my mage weapon. Pretty straightforward. I feel like that's not a big deal. I don't think it would ruin PKing at all, or can't make the wilderness a hellhole if they did that. Maybe it would. I don't know. But uh, that's all. But the accursed scepter exists. So what are we complaining? What, what are they doing? What are they waiting for? Why are we doing this? Anyway, back to the gear. So yep, swamp bark top, uh, head, top, legs. The accursed scepter, uh, Zamrak book because it's a tribe book. You can swap this out with a uh, spear shield if you want. But this just helps out your dragon dagger specs, your your crossbow, and your accursed scepter. Rune gloves. Because they're just they're they're they are worse than barrels gloves. You should use barrels gloves, but if you're still like worrying about costs, you'll, this will save you 60k. And then I use Fremenic Sea boots. They're free. You can use ghostly boots. You can use mystic boots. All your boot slots are gonna be cheap, super cheap. You can use climbing boots. It's whatever. Fremenic Sea boots is kind of a combo of all those things I just mentioned, and it has range accuracy on it. Love Fremenic Sea boots. They're dope. And then the uh, Ring of Shadows. That's from Desert Treasure 2. If you don't have Desert Treasure 2 beat, just use a just just have your ring of dueling equipped that'll that'll help you out just fine then you can go reset your stats and run back out to to spindle all right so that pretty much covers my all the items and stuff and how and why i use them so let's let's go do a quick little example kill just a quick quick little thing and i'll show you my house setup too so i'm gonna go teleport to my house yep and now we are here i got my, my pool of drinkage and then I got I got a jewelry box over here that allows me to teleport places. Like you can use this area and you, you can teleport to Corporeal Beast if you want, or you can use um, use this one. This is the one I like to use. Just left click Carolinger and the Obelisk. So if you just want your teleports close to your home po portal, teleport in. That's all we're trying to do. But we'll use Carolinger because it's more safe than the uh, than the Corporeal Beast. Corporeal Beast teleport is right over there, but it's in multi. It's right over there in multi. So we're just gonna run all the way up. Oh, I guess there was a fight over here. You see some opal bolts on the ground. Someone was fighting, but this is the path you'll take. You can just just run straight to straight to Spindle from here. Not bad at all. And boom, here we are. And now the uh, now the unfortunate part is when you get to Spindle, you have to do some world hopping. So you go to World Switcher and you have to hop through all the worlds and stuff. That, this is the non-fun part of PKing, is world hopping. But you just you just hop through and you can peek this. Hopefully you have the KC here. Definitely get your spindle KC done. You're going to want to get the spindle KC done before you do anything else. So definitely do that. Kill spindle 20 times and then you can peek this hole. And so if I peek, so I have my shift click set to peek. So left click is enter, but if I shift left click, it'll peek it for me. And there's nobody in here. And uh, that's that's unfortunate because then I couldn't, I would be able to just move right along, but... That's not going to happen. So I'll be right back with you gentlemen as soon as I find a world. Alrighty, I have found a world. Let me make sure. Anything sus happening? We're good, we're good, we're good. Alright. So we find a world. We want a super combat. We want a ranging pot. Have an angler. <clears throat> I already pre sipped a stam, but just pretend I'm sipping a stam right now. Make sure your quick prayers are correct. They are, in fact, correct. Get your mage menu out, you click on the thing, and then you click on teleblock. Bam! Confirm bot, this is teleblocked. <sighs> Please. Yes! Okay. Then we run over here, we pray mage. Let the spider drop the web on him, because after the second spider attack, he does a web. Alright, cool. Oh my god, this is the biggest bot ever. 
And bam, oh shit, I'm misclicking. Misclicking is fine, you're gonna do that. I'm gonna just equip range. I'm gonna pre-swap to mage and then go back to my mage stuff. Pray range click on him. Doing some good damage here. Spam click him, spam click. Alright, and we're gonna entangle. Yep, we gotta do a little attacking. Gotta secure this entangle. Ah, uh, god damn it. Please, shit. This is also going to happen to you. Oh, we got it. Nice. Okay, now I can go to smite. And these bots tend not to prey against melee. So I want to pray piety, click my dragon dagger, click my spec bar, and then click on him, walk off, spec. These bots don't even pray against it. I'm just going to spec the shit out of them, which is nice. Alright, then back to augury, back to this, and we're going to try to re-entangle. Alright, he's re-entangled. I'm going to click the, uh, alright, I'm going to click the two key, play, pray, pray rigor, click my range stuff, and attack him. Alright, he's not, he's just not, he's just straight up not praying against range too, and you can attack him four times, three... That's my third one, and then four, and then we click Augury, back to Mage. I think I attacked him five times there. Re-entangle, good, good, good. We can attack him for a while too. Then I did Rigor and back to range, because he's not praying against it. So one, two, oh my god, all right, cool. All right, a little more, three, and then as soon as I get a fourth one off, I'm gonna go back to Mage, oh my gosh. Be entangled! Yes! Easy. Alright, back to ranging him. I almost have a Dragon Dagger spec up, is, which is which is important. Two. Dude, three. Come on. Come on, Rune Crossbow. Rune Crossbow's letting me down a little bit here. Okay, he's hit me. Dick. Oh my god, I'm just not entangling. There we go. We're in multi now. We just crossed the multi line, so if anybody shows up, we need to dip. It looks like he's out. Oop, I fucking misclicked everything. I'm gonna do a three attacks. One. Oh, 39. Nice. Two. And he's dead. And less, just like that, we got a fucking bot kill, boys. Easy. Let's go check out our spoils. We got, it says in the clan chat, we got 473k. I always like that's one of the best reasons to be in a clan is just to see that message. It's super useful. I don't care about like, oh, let's have, let's let's walk to the chest or whatever. Now just click on the chest, see what's in there. Bam, we got money. Look at that, money in the chest. We love to see it. Bank it and move on. And then you just rinse and repeat and just do that four thousand times, and you too will have two billion dollars, boys. All right. Thanks for watching.